morning marked Inauguration Day at the Vatican with the official installation of Francis as the Bishop of Rome. Royalty, head of state, and hundreds of thousands of the faithful packed St. Peter's Square to mark this day for the new Pope. WENY TV's Candace Cole joins us live in the studio with more. Candace. Laura, today is definitely one for the history books as Pope Francis' inaugural mass got underway earlier this morning. He's officially been pontiff since first stepping out on that Vatican balcony. But for Francis, today's ceremony marked the formal beginning of his historic term. Part public celebration and part solemn ritual, cementing his role as head of the Roman Catholic Church and its 1.2 billion faithful worldwide. Francis accepted the symbols of the papacy at the tomb of St. Peter, the first pope, a lamb's wool vestment signifying the pope as shepherd of his flock, and a gold-plated fisherman's ring, a reminder of Peter as a fisher of men, disciples. Then, a holy mass before a packed basilica in St. Peter's Square, where more than a million people came out. In the crowd, heads of state and religious leaders from around the world, including Jews, Muslims, and Buddhists. In the weeks since that white smoke, Francis has won fans around the world with gestures of humility and humor and faced questions about his past in Argentina, including accusations he turned a blind eye to some atrocities committed by Argentina's military rulers in the 1970s. On Monday, Francis met with his former adversary, Argentina's President Cristina Kirchner, who had clashed with the church over gay marriage and free contraceptives in hospitals. The world is probably going to have a bit of a wake-up call when the Pope starts speaking about hot-button issues. Now, Vice President Joe Biden, the first Catholic American vice president, is in Rome representing the U.S. He'll meet with Pope Francis today for the first time. Reporting here in the studio, Candace Cole, WENY-TV News.